So when you're crossing the road here in Kathmandu, the first, the first order of business is to not look the way that you typically look whenever you're in the States. Uh, <laughs> Hello, my friend. How are you? Look yeah. Okay. And then the second order of business is to not get yourself run over because you do not want to go to the hospital here. Oh, yeah. You know, in a big city like this, there is so much chaos. And chaos is the kryptonite to how the Holy Spirit works with us. I heard a wise man say that um, revelation is sown in peace. And when, you, when you're in the midst of such chaos, you immediately go into survival mode. And it's very important to learn how to live life in such a way that everything isn't chaotic and you're not fighting one battle or fighting another battle or just going after it there. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to, you know, no, no. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. But you know, when I look at these wires and just look at the big complicated mess that is with all of these things, I just go, that's just too complicated. It's too big of a mess. It actually reminds me of a dream that I had in 2015. In 2015, I was in Orange County, California, and I was fasting and praying for a prophetic word for the year to come. And I had this dream and there was this black ball of yarn and it was so messed up it was completely complicated it was such a big mess and i immediately got frustrated with it and i was holding it and i was looking at it going oh my gosh there's no way i can ever unravel any of this so i thought i'm just going to set it on fire but right before i did i saw one little thread that was sticking up and i grabbed the one little thread and it dropped and it just started going and it just went all the way and then i went wow that was so simple that was so easy and then i heard the term simple solutions to complicated issues simple solutions to complicated issues has become one of the staples that i pray about that i cry out for that i believe god for simple solutions to complicated issues is one of the major ways that the spirit of the lord works with us to keep us out of survival mode and keep us into overcoming mode one more thing i want to tell you is that if you're somebody that Everywhere you look, man, you're seeing the number 333, right? There are 222 people and 111 people. But 333 is all about this. It's all about Jeremiah 33.3. that says, call upon me and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Call upon me and I will show you great and mighty things that you do. Listen, as, as big of a mess and as much chaos as there is out here, man, you can call upon God right where you're at and go, Lord, tell me, man, I want to show me, show me. There's one thing that if I knew it, if I saw it, it would be a game changer for absolutely everything. Simple solutions to complicated issues. Hey, my friend, how are you, man? What do you got in those boxes? 